suppose this is the main, the end of the quest. This is the quest room. A potion of fortify magic. No, I'm not going to bother. I don't like fortifying stuff unless it's like a stat, like strength or something. Otherwise, it's I don't feel the need. Oh, we'll have a yellow glass bowl though. Hell yeah. Or not. Now the ghost should be in here, somewhere. Here, ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. Let's use some proper arrows. And you know, I don't have any proper arrows. I got some silver arrows, but we've only got two of them. It's pointless. Yeah, here you are. This is the ghost of your. Your son says hi, by the way. And that you're a bastard to him. Bye bye. There we go. The uh, bone biter bow of soul cinepole. Damage agility on target. It's good, but it's not as good as that. Not quite. 4 to 40 or uh, 1 to 20. Which one am I going to pick? Honestly, I mean, okay, so that one does weigh a lot less. But even so, now I don't think there's anything else around here. Nope. Alright, so let's head back. A long way. I didn't cast a mark spell because I figured it would take less time to um, get from here to the camp than from the camp to Balmora again. But I might have been mistaken, honestly, because I don't know, I think it's about half. I don't think it's about even. Especially if I can find some shortcuts and drop down here, and that's not a shortcut, that's death. Oh god. No, this is a bad idea. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Icky water. Icky, icky water. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Well, we've got a few skill upgrades there, and we've got some nice items, which I which are effectively useless to us. We can always sell them, but then I've got lots to sell anyway. I never have the time in these videos to go out to Creeper and... Uh, get my 5,000 gold off him, but we do have a nice stash of 20k. Nothing to be sniffed at. Plus everything in this game is pretty cheap. So... don't really need the monies. And now we just have to hope we don't get attacked. Ha! <laughs> well! Thank you. No! Who are you, where are you, and what do you want? Just go north, just go north. Why do I think it's a sneaky cliff racer that's just gonna batter me at any second? That was good, wasn't it? Hope he won't get attacked and instantly just get ambushed. I like niches, they're not hostile. They are though. I'll just give you a wide berth. Nice wide berth. Oh, but I need to go that way anyway. So you're in the way. You're in the way now. I'm avoiding you because I don't want to fight anything else. This is not much of a camp. Stupid map seems to be wrong. Oh, let me get up the hill. It's just over the hill. God damn you, train my acrobatics a little bit more. There we go. Right here. Oh. Who do I talk to first? Soul Mantle, I think. Now, this is where I can screw up, so I'm going to save here and then I need to ask a lot of questions about a lot of things, and I'm not going to read out the stuff that they say. Oh, your glowy thing's gone. Right, so yes, I did that, so. Uh, I can rest here. That's oh, I can rest anywhere. That's great. Uh, we don't harm anyone, obviously, right? So now I can talk about Nevermind prophecies. He will just tell us to go and talk to Black Mesa. All right. So I have to go and talk to her. I think. Yes. This is where I can go wrong because she tells you a hell of a lot. I can't wait for Gix to get to this bit because he'll spend about three, four episodes reading this. 
Alright, so Nervine Prophecies. So you've got all of these you've got to ask her about. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so Aspect and Unseen Parents. Okay, and that. Um, moon and Star. Alright, if you don't ask her about all these, you have to come back and ask her again. The Sleepers. Yep, yeah, alright, good Sleepers, right. Uh, the Seven Curses. Didn't have to ask about those. Uh, the Stranger. Continue. Yes, continue. That's even more. Seven Visions. Seven Trials. Now she'll go through all the trials. Um. Oh, now it's run out of even the, the the history's run out, so I'm gonna have to do it by this fifth trial. Yeah, and now it's just gonna it just even more stuff. It just opens up. It's ridiculous. This one character tells you so much about stuff. It's just oh my god, it's just so it's too much. It really is mind-boggling just the amount of stuff she knows she should have just given a uh, another journal updating thing oh continue about that never in profit yes we've done that before on destiny pass the test have i passed the test right i think that's it now then um you are not neverines right okay uh, you want to maybe become the Nervarine? It is a puzzle, a hard one. Uh, you may have found some of the pieces, and uh, you may buy. May, you may find more. Do you choose to be the Nervarine? Um, then seek the not lost prophecies among the dissident priests of the temple. Find the lost prophecies, bring them to me, and I shall be your guide. Uh, and take these copies of the Stranger and the Seven Visions. Now, I have told you all I know. Go think on what I have told you, uh, and do what must be done. So now it says I must report a pass to Chaos. I'm going to save here. I'm going to cast Recall by my nifty ring. And hopefully that's like quest over. I have to go and give it some stupid buck. I'm going to probably have to go all the way back there for the next. Uh, session of the main quest. The main the main quest starts getting... this is what I find, uh, what I um, regard as sort of the, the meat and bones of the main quest now. You know, you've, you've done all the, the running and errands and talking to people and stuff like that and, and this is where it starts getting heavy, where it's all about Neverine and you have to start proving yourself now. So I guess it's a good a time to up to difficulty. Now I probably, you know, knowing the nature of this LP, won't come back to this for, uh, you know, another Three months or something. Okay, my orders. Right. Okay. Now you've spoken to Sulman Tull and Nabani Mesa. Uh, from what they say, it sounds like you could really be the Nervarine. That's just incredible. But I'll have to get used to the idea. Uh, let me try and get word to Mehera Milo. Uh, maybe she can find out whether the distant priests have any lost prophecies. But in the meantime, I have a very tough assignment for you. Do you think you are ready? I'm ready for anything, or I'm willing but cautious. I don't think it matters which leave. I'm ready for anything. Hmm, don't get overconfident. Um, but it so happens that I agree. You're ready. Well, just in case, I'm going to give you 400 drakes. Marvelous. That'll be great until the, you know, 20,000 that I've already got. Uh, before you head out, make sure you outfit yourself with healing potions, new gear, a little training, whatever you think you need most. And remember, if you get back, if you get in trouble, back off, rest off, and go back fresh. Um, don't get cocky. I think this will be a tough one. Uh, here's your mission. Fog Buff Moose sent... Bookmoth sent a patrol to Garmok hunting smugglers with six health connections. They found a six health base, a six health shrine, and a six health priest named Dagoth Gares. Uh, speak to champion Reyesa Polina at Fork Bookmoth, and she'll tell you about the patrol um, at the six health base. Your orders find the six health base, kill Dagoth Gares, and bring me full support on the six health base. Yeah, the six health base. Yeah, and I'll just tell you everything that pretty much we already know. Alright, so that's our next mission. There we go, that was interactively Let's Play Morrowind. That was, um, yeah, even more main quest. We're getting, we're getting, as I say, into the meat and bones of the main quest now. 
Um, my character is pretty powerful, so I upped the difficulty, which certainly made a difference. And uh, what's next week? Who knows? But I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you are too. Until next time, toodaloo!